Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be looking at the new update to Luminar 2018, the AI Sky Enhancer tool, how it can benefit your photography, how can you use it, and how it stacks up to Lightroom, right after this. Hey, what's up guys and welcome into the video. On this channel, we talk landscape photography. So if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing to this channel. Now, in this video specifically, I'm gonna be looking at Luminar 2018's latest update to their software with their AI Sky Enhancer, how you can use it for your own photography, how it really works, what it is, and how it stacks up to Lightroom. So if you're curious about switching or curious to learn a little bit more about what this feature is, I've actually included a link below in the video description to help you guys look at a little bit more of what Luminar 2018 is if you wanna do that yourself. But let's get right in the computer screen so we can look at exactly what this is. All right guys, so now that we're in the computer, I really wanna show you like how to use this specifically. And, and I really want to show you like, you can just bring a photo in immediately and start working on it. Let's say like I wanted to uh, update the saturation or vibrance on that. I can do this right here in the filters, but I really wanna talk about the filter of the AI Sky Enhancer first and show you exactly how this works. So I wanna show you on this lighthouse that's in Geneva, right on Lake Geneva. And I'm gonna select the AI Sky Enhancer because I really wanna darken up the sky, but I really don't want to adjust much else within this image. Uh, and, and, and what this does is it kind of locates the same tones that are within the sky. So I wanted to choose this photo specifically because I want to darken everything, but I don't want to darken the lighthouse itself. I don't want to darken this little like natural window that we were shooting through out on Lake Geneva of these like sea plants from across the lake. And what I wanna do is just start increasing this and you'll see that it darkens like sky tones. Like in this image specifically, I can see that, yeah, it is kind of darkening like the mountain right here, but that's totally okay. Like in other ways of finding things like this mountain is very occluded, it's very hazy and it looks like the sky. So it's locating it as the sky, but that really doesn't matter to me because what I'm trying to do in this image is create more contrast between the mountain and the lighthouse itself, those shadows and highlight tones. So as I increase this, I can see that it's not really affecting the lighthouse, which is not what I want it to affect. And it's also not affecting these sea grasses that we have here. So I really wanna like zoom in and, and inspect this closely of what this is actually doing. And I can see that once I get in really close on the lighthouse, it's really not touching it unless there's a tone resemblance on the lighthouse itself of this AI Sky Enhancer. And I can even come over here to like the edges of these sea grasses really close up and see how they're being affected too because I don't wanna darken those either. So as I move this up and down, you can see it's secluding these out from creating a darker tone. Now, I have it way up, so it's causing some pixelation on that. I really don't make a lot of like huge, massive edits, so as long as I keep it down at like 20, it's not going to do that too much. So this is really beneficial for me as a photographer. Not only does it allow me to make these edits on the computer, but it also allows me to eliminate things like a graduated ND filter in my field work because I can do that with this technique. The same thing a grad ND filter would do in the field. And the problem with a grad ND filter or like a graduated filter on some of these softwares is that it occludes and makes your subject darker. This is popping that subject out from the AI Sky Enhancer tool and darkening the background and adjusting the sky tones, but it's leaving that lighthouse uh, perfect. It's leaving that lighthouse in the right light that I want it and not darkening it. Whereas in an image with a graduated ND filter, you just have a stark line that you're working with and that would occlude some of that lighthouse. So like you may be thinking, oh, well, you know, this is just a lighthouse, you know, maybe I want to adjust the uh, sky with some mountains behind it. I really don't know if you know, the sky tones are really gonna be able to seclude against that. Well, let me show you with this image right here in Luminar 2018, doing the exact same thing. I'll insert the AI Sky Enhancer tool and bring that up. 
and you can see that it's adjusting the sky based on where that hard line of the mountains is. So on the other image, it was finding the same sky tones, which the mountain was a part of because it was so hazy. On this one, it knows, okay, these are mountain peaks. They're not part of the sky. They're not going to be adjusted or harmed within this edit. And yeah, if you move it way up, you get some uh, highlights that are coming out and some bad pixelation there. But if you move it down to a realistic edit, you're getting some beneficial edits for you as a photographer to, to separate those mountains and sky. And again, you're not getting that graduated ND or graduated filter line going across that would really occlude some of these mountains that are in this frame right here. So I want to look at this compared to Lightroom. Like I'm gonna look at the same Lighthouse photo and, and use some tools that I used to use in Lightroom that uh, maybe are a little bit more difficult to use, how it stacks up against Luminar 2018. So let's reopen that Lighthouse image that we just had. So I'm gonna go to Open Images, Don't Save, and I'm gonna find that Lighthouse picture that I was just working on. And we can see exactly how it stacks up to Lightroom specifically. Okay, so as you can see, we have the same image opened up in Lightroom and in Luminar 2018, and we can look at exactly how we could do this uh, in Lightroom. Again, I'm gonna show you, okay, AI Sky Enhancer. I'm gonna increase this to an edit that I like. Right about there is good. It really secludes that edit just to the sky tones that we have in this. So how do you do it in Lightroom? Well, it's, it's actually really difficult. Um, and then there's no real way to really seclude that unless you throw it over into Photoshop and make the edit in Photoshop and bring it back over. The easiest way to do that is with a graduated filter and really that's not the best option. Let's say I wanna use a two-stop uh, exposure grad ND filter on this in Lightroom. So let's say I wanna pull that down. Uh, I'm gonna bring this exposure up to where I want it. But as you can see, like I would be using a grad ND filter in the field, this isn't letting me uh, exclude this lighthouse from the tones in the background. This isn't letting me do that. It's darkening the lighthouse. It's darkening the sea grasses on the side. I'm having a lot of difficulty looking at that and seeing that. Now there's a way to eliminate those edits and parts of your image using this brush feature. Uh, having the brush here and when you have the alt key held down, I can even select this auto mask here. But the real problem is, is that even when you do that, you know, you're gonna have areas up here, like what I just did, that came out of the auto mask selection. So you have to be extremely careful. Not only that, but when you start doing this, it really alters the overall color of the lighthouse into something that wasn't natural. Uh, it kind of messes up the shadow tones of this. Like I can paint that back in with the, see when it gets off of the uh, auto mask and I try to paint the effect back in, it makes it a little bit darker. I can't really uh, paint this out of just like the sea grasses because it makes this really stark edit with it. It's just, it's, it's not a realistic adjustment that I can do. I would have to put it in Photoshop and select out like the, the, like the blue tones of this specifically and then make a high res selection of the lighthouse and start altering things that way. And doing it that way is, is definitely possible, but doing it in Luminar 2018 with the AI Sky Enhancer makes much more sense because that would be like an hour's worth of work, whereas the AI Sky Enhancer allows me to do this in what, five seconds is what we did it with. So I'm even gonna hit like Control or Command Z to re eliminate uh, what I did with those seagrasses and even with the auto mask and I'm gonna hit done and we can go back and forth on this and see which one actually looks good. I mean, even if I increase um, what we did with this graduated filter, like reselect it and bring the exposure up to there, we have detail in the AI Sky Enhancer that's much better. I'll even zoom in on this so we can see like what this is actually doing. And I have much more detail. I have much better like contrast between uh, the lighthouse and the background in this image. There's a lot more detail in the lighthouse. There's a lot more like color tone. It's, it's more vibrant, it's bright. 
and using the graduated filter in Lightroom, it kind of darkened this down, even removing that gradient and see we still got off here with the auto mask a little bit. That it's just not realistic. It takes up too much time. Using the AI Sky Enhancer, even just a little bit within those five seconds that we did it in, uh, helped us so much more because we got a better photograph out of it. Not only that, but we saved the rest of our day as well, pretty much going back and forth between Lightroom and Photoshop doesn't really allow us to save time, doesn't really allow us to save energy on edits. The Luminar 2018 AI Sky Enhancer helps us do that. If you like this video, you found it useful at all, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Comment below if you have any questions or always subscribe to this channel as well. You can find more Luminar 2018 videos in the playlist that's showing up on your screen right now.